Today's the final day to submit plans for the future of the Pisgah Inn. That's where News 13's Victoria Donkel is live right now. And Vic, technically the inn is part of the National Park System. That's exactly right. And so technically the National Park System can determine who gets to operate this location. It's been in the same family for now more than a quarter of a century. And the family wants to hold on to that. Now let me tell you what is happening today because this is really the focus of the battle. The control of the Pisgah Inn here on the Blue Ridge Parkway. Operator of it is said that they would like to submit a proposal and be in considered to continue the operations. That's Bruce O'Connell. He's actually spent the last 20 five years managing the inn. His family operated it prior to that. Operators of the federal facilities in Yellowstone, Grand Canyon, and Yosemite National Parks are also likely considered to be bidders for the management rights here. Now, the O'Connell wants to keep the operations local, but he says that, of course, depends ultimately on the Park Service. Today is the deadline for anyone who's interested in submitting a proposal for running and managing this particular site along the Blue Ridge Parkway to the National Park Service. And coming up in our next half hour, I'll let you know the time line for making a decision on who will pick up the new contract for the operations here. This is one of the most popular spots along the Blue Ridge Parkway. People come here, they get to stay, they get to wake up to some of the most beautiful views in the entire stretch of highway. And so it is a very popular destination, but it's also very crucial to the O'Connell family that they keep it, this pristine and locally operated site. We'll see what the standing is regarding the future on this as we come up in the next half hour reporting live from the Blue Ridge Parkway, Victoria Dunkel, News 13. Happening today, it's the deadline for a shot to operate one of the most popular stops along the Blue Ridge Parkway. News 13's Victoria Dunkel is live at the Pisgah Inn. Victoria, the contract expires at the end of the year. That's exactly right. Now, the National Park Service actually owns this, but it leases out the contracts to different concession operators for all of the National Park Services across the country. Right here in the Pisgah Inn situation, Bruce O'Connell and his family have been in control and operating this Pisgah Inn and its properties for about a quarter of a century. Now, the property includes not only the three buildings, the 51-room lodge, a restaurant, the gift shop, which is known as the country store, and employee housing. This is what all entails in this contract. Now, in April, the National Park Service announced that it was taking submissions for the chance to operate, or, or in this case for the O'Connells, to renew their concession operator's license here and manage this for another 10 years. That's typically the size and the length of these contracts. The deadline for filing your submissions on this is today, 4 o'clock this afternoon. Now, Bruce O'Connell has been letting people know how things have been going on his Facebook page. And in fact, just last week, he posted that he had made his submission. In fact, he delivered it in person to the offices in Atlanta. Now, when we are looking at the National Park Service information, they have not set a specific date for when they will announce who will receive this contract or their decision. But we do know that they plan to make that and issue this prior to the end of this year so that the new management or the continuing management can be in place and ready to go without missing a beat. Coming up, we'll have more details on exactly what it takes and how this whole process works. Reporting live at the Pisgah Inn on Blue Ridge Parkway, Victoria Dunkel, News 13. Happening today, it's the final day to submit plans for the future of the Pisgah Inn. News 13's Victoria Dunkel is live from the Blue Ridge Parkway. And Vic, technically the inn is part of the national park system. That's exactly right. So, Jay, that means that the National Park Service has to decide who gets to operate it, and it does that with usually what is about a 10-year contract. Well, that contract here at the Pisgah Inn expires at the end of the year. This is the focus of the battle. They are looking for someone to operate the Pisgah Inn and its attached buildings, as well as the country store up here. Now, the family, the O'Connell family, which is led now by Bruce O'Connell, has been running the inn for decades. He's been in charge of it for 25 years, and he is working to keep that opportunity for him to keep operating this site. Now, he has said that he believes operators of facilities like Yellowstone, Grand Canyon, and Yosemite National Parks, where they have concession deals, are probably going to be the likely bidders that he is going to be going up against. He told fans of the Pisgah Inn on its Facebook page that he submitted his proposal in person more than a week ago. His visitors to the inn have told him that they do like the hometown feel here, and he is promising to try to keep that in place. Now, the National Park Service says it hopes to have a final decision 
on who will get this new contract, which is expected to be a 10-year contract, before the current one ends, which would be before the end of the year. But right now, the big deadline that is the focus is 4 o'clock this afternoon. That is when everyone who wants a shot at operating the Pisgah Inn has to have their submission of their proposal in place. Coming up in our next half hour, we'll let you know exactly what they would be getting to operate. Reporting live on the Blue Ridge Parkway, Victoria Dunkel, News 13. It is the deadline for a shot at operating one of the most popular places along the Blue Ridge Parkway. News 13's Victoria Dunkel is live at the Pisgah Inn. And Victoria, the contract for it expires at the end of this year. That's exactly right. So today's deadline is the deadline that was set by the National Park Service for people who wanted the chance to maybe receive the new contract. And that includes the current operator, Bruce O'Connell. Now, this property includes a beautiful setting here up along the Blue Ridge Parkway. We're talking the 51-room lodge, the restaurant, and the gift shop known as the Country Store, as well as employee housing. Bruce O'Connell and his family have been managing this place for decades. He has been in charge for 25 years himself. And he said, on his Facebook page for the fans of the Pisk Inn that he actually has come up with his proposal and he hand delivered it more than a week ago to the National Park Service group in Atlanta that is handling this. Now, he says that he has heard from visitors that they like the hometown feel and the way that he has been running the inn right now and he wants to keep the operations local. Now, there is some speculation that other bidders may include some of the concession operators from places around other national parks like the Yellowstone, Grand Canyon, Yosemite. What we are waiting to see is after today just how much time the National Park Service will take to review the submitted plans, but it did say it plans to issue the new concession operation contract before the end of the year. And again, that is when the current contract that Bruce O'Connell has expires. We'll be following the story for you and let you know the progress. Reporting live from the Blue Ridge Parkway, Victoria Dunkel, News 13.